Hello? Wow. <laughs> I have so many people in here. Ify, thanks for coming. I'm two minutes late. I have tried not to be late, but I am still late. Tasty City, thanks for coming. Sun Media, thanks for coming. Snoppy, thanks for coming to my life. I think I really need to adjust my camera. Oh, my phone. Joseph Erickson, thanks for coming to my life. In short, you guys are always here for me. Thanks for coming. Oh, I'm fine. I'm doing great. I'm doing good. So as everybody, how are you guys spending your weekend? Shalina's ah, thanks for coming. I'm playing Super Mario Make for 3DS. Wow, well, really? So you used to play, play Super Mario too? I played Super Mario when I was younger. But I'm sure if I if I if I have the pad, uh, is it pad? We call it pad. That's the um the pad. I'm sure I can I can play it well. So who is that? You are much welcome to my pleasure. Thank you. Um Oh, Selena Art, you are from India. Thank you so much for being here for me. I appreciate every single person for coming to my life. Anna's Kitchen, thanks for coming. Oh, I'm cute. Thank you. I'm blushing. The Max, welcome back to my life. So, guys, please smash the like button. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the like. That's why I always have a phone here to read comments because sometimes I miss out you guys' comments. So I'm sure you, you guys already, you've already seen the topic, you know what we want to talk about. So that's a very big question to everybody. Um, do you think it is um, right for men to have paternity, um, paternity leave? Because I have been thinking, oh, thank you, Selena. Thank you so, so much. So guys, if you are over 1,000 um, friends, and you're able to share my life, kindly share this life. Let's let's have more people to come in. So um I was thinking, I, I actually did this video because of people in Africa and mostly for African men. But I think oh Emmanuel, thank you so much. Kisses to you. If you like the video, thank you. So guys, give me thumbs up if you haven't given me. I have more than enough people, but I have just this thumbs up. Um, the thumbs up is like my strength. The thumbs up is like uh, my fear. The thumbs up makes me feel like I'm communicating. The thumbs up make me feel like you know we are getting along. So guys, um, do you guys think? Um, so you can also make friend. Yeah, you can make friend. Edward Smart, mm, my kisses to you. Thanks for coming to my life. Don't forget to give me thumbs up. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Should men be giving entitlement to paternity? Oh, you go at Daisy, my darling, my darling, my darling. Thanks for coming to my life. Don't forget to smash that like button. So, what do you guys think? Do you think men should be entitled to paternity um, leave from work? I know in in civilized country because I wouldn't even call Africa. Or well, let me not let me not let me not talk like that. Oh, you are taking a break from the stream, from my stream, or from going to stream or what edwards i trust what would you say before you would say no so if you say no you need to give a reason why you think they shouldn't give um they shouldn't give paternity leave for men who are married and their wife is going to have um a child or children you know sometimes you are pregnant you have twins you have triplets and sometimes you have just one so for you to say it is not um for you to say no why do you think so why or oh, no why do you say no because to me if i'm being asked i would say yes so for people who don't know what paternity um uh, means it means um it's it's a kind of law or relationship that has to do between a father and a child so um mostly in africa when women have babies their husband are always busy at work especially people who are uh, professionals like doctor like lawyers like engineers, like um, like so many more you can think of. The wife already gets maternity leave. Sun Media, thanks for coming to my life. So Sun Media, what do you think? We are talking about um, paternity leave for men. Do you think it is right? Or do you think, um, what do you think about paternity leave? What do you think? Um, someone just dropped a comment and said, 
It says um, the wife already gets um, maternity leave and the man shouldn't be entitled to paternity leave. But I'm going to ask a question, a straight and direct question, Edward. Um, how do you how do you get to know your 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 kids, your children, or how do you get to to know your child? Because according to Google, it is a relationship between a father and a child. Like you know, you have time to play with your child to like just to get close to that child. Okay, assuming you work. You close very late, you close by 8 p.m., by 7 p.m., before you drive to the house, before you get home, or you take the metro, the tram, or whatever you want to take, and you get home very late, probably the, the baby is sleeping. Probably the baby is sleeping. And uh, that is why in Africa, most, most children, they are not used to their father. They are really not used to their father because you go to work, you come back late, you don't have time for the kids, even weekend when you're supposed to have time for the kids, some parents will just want to be, some men, they just want to hang out with their friends. They want to, um, okay, Adese is saying something. Adese says, I think he's right. There's nothing wrong with the man helping out. Exactly. That is why I went to, 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 that my thumbnail. <laughs> it actually took me about 40 minutes to think of how to design a perfect thumbnail. And even at that, it's not perfect, but I just say, oh, I'm tired of thinking the live stream is going to start in about um, one hour plus when I should do it. I said, let me just use that. You can see the man struggling to feed the baby, according to what the Tony is trying to explain. He's struggling. For you to know, it's not easy. It's not easy to take care of children. It's not easy to feed children. It's not easy to, to be around children. If you have ever, as a man, if you have ever stayed with a, uh, stay with a child, for 24 hours, you will know you will know what I'm I'm saying. I am saying. You will know what I'm talking about. Children are, you know, I wouldn't say they are difficult, but you need it's like you need to go to a, a special institution. <laughs> I'm not joking, I know what I'm saying. It's like you need to go to a special institution to be able to take care of kids. Kids within the age of zero to I think five years. I'm telling you. I've been around kids, I know they have different, different characters. And at each stage of their life, they grow different characters. From zero years to three months, it's totally different. It, it, every month, they change character. When they get to one year, it seems like um, their life becomes a little stable. And um, after like, um, maybe every three, three months or every six, they will still keep on growing and growing to have different characters. So it's not easy. If you don't, you know, show your, your baby that compassion, that love. Okay, why would people say, oh, my, my, my son or my daughter, anytime, oh, Wendy TV, thanks for coming to my life. Don't forget to give your baby a thumbs up. Why would people say, so Wendy TV, I'm throwing a question to everybody, and I would like you to answer. Should men be entitled to paternity leave from work? What do you think? yes or no and if it is yes what is your reason if it is no what is your reason of course you see you see it's not easy for women eh? hmm. for those women who have children me i don't have one anyway <laughs> for those of you that have children you are trying you know i salute you now you are you're really doing um great job it's not easy to be a mom it's not easy there's no profession in the world that is um that can compare to being a mother i tell you because from the very first day you become a mother till you die, you are always working. Even when your children are grown up, they have um, they are married, they have their wives or they have their their um, their husband. They would still call you. Granny will still they will still call you. Even the, the grandchildren will still keep on calling you. Great grandchildren will keep on calling you. Hello, grandma. Hello, granny. Hello, grandma. Hello, anyone. Hello, nonna. Anyone they want to call you. They will keep on calling you. So, it's really not easy. Okay. Edward says, I realize that um, bonding is important. Exactly, bonding is important. So, I was saying something before when the TV came in. When the TV, you haven't... Okay, you've answered. You said yes. Okay. Um, I was saying something before she, she came in. Why do you think um, some father or some mother, they would say, Oh, even if my son is crying... And he, 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 he or she, yes, 
the, the voice of the father, they keep quiet instantly. Or you can hear a statement like, oh, anytime I get, um, I get home from the office and, um, oh no, you will hear, you have heard things like, if I don't go home to, um, to carry my baby and give him or her a kiss, they would not sleep. And the baby might have been crying, making trouble, doing all sorts of nasty things um, kids do from age, um, age zero to, to age one. And immediately the father comes in and says, Oh, my baby, my baby, my baby, my baby, how are you doing? They're at peace, they're at rest instantly. That is the bond. But if you don't create that bond within your child, between you and your child as a man, how will they now go to be your friend? At the end of the day, men will be complaining, Oh, children, they know only their mother. They'll start making faces like, Nobody should make that kind of face. <laughs> It, is, it depends on the relationship you create between you and your child that, um, that determines when that child grows, um, the kind of bond that will be between the two of you as a father and a child. Gambia Kusin, thanks for coming to my life. Thank you so much. Hi, Johnson. I miss see you. Oh, thank you for being here. Okay. YouTube star DQ, thanks for coming to my life. It seems like you are new to my channel. Uh, if you are, if you are not my friend, kindly subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna do the same thing after the live stream. But if you are my friend already, welcome. Kisses to you. How is he going to feed his family? Okay, okay. That is another question which I'm gonna answer. Down organic food for us. Thanks for coming to my life, guys. Don't forget to give me thumbs up. Kindly give me thumbs up. Oh, you've been subbed, but I think this is your first time in here, and I really need to check out um to you too. Okay, when you, you go on paternity, uh, paternity leave in country where, um, like in Europe, I'm sure in America, it should be. There should be, um, there's, a, there's a duration. I think the, the average paternity leave is two weeks for 10 days, minimum of 10 days, minimum of 10 days. And um, you will be paid for, for, for your leave. It's just the same thing as maternity leave. I think in, in, in um, the country varies. Yes, we've got two weeks. Yeah, it's two weeks. Okay. Um, men do get paternity leave. Exactly, they get paternity leave. YouTube star says, I just feeling in my opinion, but I agree with what you're saying. Exactly. That's true. <clears throat> Edward. Mr. Edward, you don't want to help your wife at all. Can you imagine? You have a, a supporter now. You poor are too. Hey, now, wow. thank God I'm not alone. God is with me. You people want to cope against me. It will not work. It will not work. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so I'm in there back from here. Okay. So, as I was saying, the, it, the minimum, I think the maximum is two weeks minimum of, um, of 10 days. And you'll be paid for the paternity leave. You know, it's just to help your wife. I can I can imagine myself, I'm having a baby for the first time. I have experience of taking care of baby. If I have my baby, I am sure, I pray, my baby would not have um special issue like disabled babies or babies with um brain tumor or one problem or the other. I, am sh I pray my baby would not have any kind of, those kind of issues. Um, If I have a LD normal baby, okay, then the guy next to the mother need help when she gets home. Exactly. If I have a normal LD baby, I don't think I have I would have any issue in baiting my baby, carrying my baby, taking care of my baby because um I'm used to bait. I I take care of other people's baby, so I see nothing adding. I take care of baby from birth, you know, so I know I know all those things. But I stay up at night when my wife my wife gets rest. Exactly, that's a good man. That's a good man. African men, you hardly see African men who do those things. And it is wrong, and that is what I am preaching. I I wish all African. Oh, Rosa Red, thanks for coming to my life. Thank you so much. Kisses to you. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, where was I? I wish Africa would start giving. And I, I know South Africa gives, but I, I haven't done research and I'm not sure of any other country that gives uh paternity leave. Canada is one and two years maternity leave exactly even in europe in europe you can take up to three years maternity leave and that's crazy but it's truth it's truth because my auntie just put to bed 
she's in Germany. I think um, some months back, her baby should be should be close to um, six months now. And um, when we when she called, she was like, "Oh, I took paternity leave for two years." And my my aunt, the one I was staying with, Ruth. I'm sure you guys all know her. I'm using this opportunity to give her a shout out. Her YouTube channel is Ruth Ofara Michael. You can go check her out. She have crazy and funny videos. You know, you can laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh out your sorrow. So, excuse me. So, um, my aunt Ruth was like, oh, why did, why did you just take three years? <coughs> excuse me. They will still pay you because they will pay you. I think for, for, for as long as six months or close to one year, they will pay you the exact salary. You are, government will pay you the exact salary you have been paid where you work. And I think after some months, they would reduce it a little. A little. But remember, I don't think that should be a problem because if you take paternity leave for three years or for two years, you still have you you um um you still have some benefit that you receive um for the child. For the child. Okay, your money would not be deducted. You see? So what is there? Why would I not take paternity leave and enjoy myself and take care of my children? Children are responsibilities. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I've had the chance to stay with children under the age of 10 to 1 to, ah, oh my God, it's not easy. Sometimes I feel like, I feel like squeezing them and throwing them off, um, off through the window. <laughs> so let me quickly read you guys' comments. Hmm. Edward says, I do believe that, I do believe the length of maternity leave for women should be at least three months. Huh? Edward, you must give me reasons, not even one. Give me reasons why you think it should be three months. So after three months, when they start working, the kids will now start doing what? Do not have to bring the nanny. That's what we don't want in, in, in Nigeria. I'm even praying that they increase paternity um, leave in Nigeria to like one year self. I think they used to give three months or six months. I, I can't really remember. It's been a while. I can't really remember. I think they give three months or six months, and I am complaining that three months is too small. You are not you you are not used to your baby. Your baby don't know you. You have to leave your baby, go to work, and come back eight o'clock when the baby is sleeping. The baby will not even know how my mom, how do my mom look like. The baby will not be close to the nanny. At the end of the day, when those kind of children grow up, they, they don't have relationship with you. I, I I did a video. I think you guys need to go watch that video about uh bad African uh parenting. And this is part of what I'm talking about. Parents who don't have time for their kids. And at the end of the day, when things start happening, when the kids start going to the age of adolescence and they start having little secrets that they're supposed to share with the parent, the dad is even a write-off. Because dad don't even, even mom that have little uh, maternity uh, leave, the children are not even close to them. Not to talk of men that don't even have. So they, they can't confine in, the, in, the, in their mom. They can't confine in their dad. They have to go start telling neighbors, Things that they would have tell um, that they would have tell their their parent. No, that's not that's not right. Three months is too small. A baby of three. Have you seen a baby of three months? Oh no. We have to keep them. Three months is too small. They should even increase it in Nigeria. Okay, I did they say that organic. That's a very nice point. What did he say? He said something. I stayed. He said he stayed up at night to help his wife. That's that, that's how real men should do. That is what women should do. You, both of you agree to have babies. Both of you agree to like, okay, let's make babies. You, two of you should have concluded, how are we going to do it? How, um, how will we be able to raise these children together? How is it going to be that my wife will not be too stressful? How is it going to be that my, my um, the stress wouldn't be on the husband? Everything should be equal, for crying out loud. Okay, Edward says, okay, Dan Organic, you're referring to Edward. Smart, my wife was off for six months, got made for five months. Okay, um, okay, got paid for five months. Mm, Europe looks out for the parents more than the US. I think so. I think they look out for the children and the, not the parents, so they consider the children. That is the thing. That is why in Europe, you can, you can see people who work. Livelin Villa, thanks for coming to my life. I appreciate you for coming. Thanks for the thumbs up. They um in in Europe, 
you can see a contract work of two months. You can even see a contract. No, not contract. Um, I think, oh, yes, you can even get a contract of six months work. And after six months, your work is finished. You can see a contract work of one year, two years. You can see for three years. You can see for seven months. That is because for people who go for paternity leave or no, mostly maternity leave and all that, you know, they, they, they need to employ people to fill in the gap pending the time. You can see. So there's always, if you have documents, there's always work. There's always work because they get, um, they get, um, six month contract, one year contract, eight month contract. It depends. So I think that that's the, that's the thing. Europe, they, they don't, they don't joke with children. They don't, there are some things you would do or there are some laws you will not follow. They will seize your children from you. Either they, they seize them completely and uh, put them for adoption or they, I've forgotten what they used to call it. They seize them for the meantime. They will put them uh, for adoption. You can go to see them. You can go to check on them. And when they see your brain has calmed down, you have start being responsible, you can have your kids back. So that's how it works here. Okay. Um, Rose Arrett says, because the government pay parent fee, which is up to 300 euro. Is it parent fee or children fee for the children? They pay the parent for the children. Is that what you're trying to say? Because I know government pay the parent for the children. And uh, they will if you are a working class woman, if you are a working class mother, they will still pay you your own salary. They pay the, ch the child. That's a different pay. And even if you are not working, you are entitled to, to some kind of money. I don't know. I don't have kids yet. I don't know. I, I, I have um, sisters who have kids, so I get to know all these things. Okay, Rosa Red says, the 300 euro is for one year, then they pay your child 194 euro for up to 18 years. Wow. That, that's not bad. Okay, then I'm going to say, when my wife went back to work, I took time off to stay at home with both of my kids. Pick up to you. That's what I'm saying. So let the kids be, be close to their parents so they can open up. You guys need to go watch the video and see the story of the girl I was sharing. You can go. It's, it's really down, down, down below. And guys, don't mind the lightning. That was when I was starting YouTube. I, I had the passion to, to, to do videos. I have an interesting topic to talk about, but um, no proper lightning. No proper lightning. So guys, don't mind the lightning, but just listen to what I have to say in that video. I think you guys really need to go and see it. It's about the story of a girl who got pregnant, did abortion, and almost died. And there are some reasons why it was like that. You need to go there to know the reasons and how it all happened and all that. Okay, I would say many small employers cannot afford to give more than three months. Which country are you, Edward? If it is in, if it is in, um, I think if it is in, in Europe, no matter how small or how big your, your company is, as far as it is registered, it is registered under the government. It is not, I don't think, it is not you that will pay. It is not you that will pay for, for the maternity leave. It is the government that pays. I think so. It is the government that pay, not you. But they will pay you the exact salary your employer pays you. That's the deal. That is the deal. So the whole thing is just two months before you, you deliver or a month before you deliver. Immediately you are pregnant and your employer knows, okay, I have a lady who is pregnant. Um, you tell your employer, okay, I'm two months, I'm three months or four months pregnant. They know they know they know you are pregnant they know when you would you will deliver or you can tell them maybe when you are six months you can let them know when i'm eight months or when i'm seven months i want to stop working they know you maybe you go on sick leave or you go on anything before then they know and they um they try to employ somebody else to fill in the gap till you come back that's just the thing nobody's gonna pay um gonna pay for what you don't uh, what you do not work for it's not easy, but the government is going to do that because um, they love children. Believe me. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Dan says because he does not want daycare for his for his kids, and that's 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 nice. I tell you, that is nice. That is nice. It's not really easy. It's it's very hard for you to to like you go to daycare. You see children. They are they are over. Um, there are plenty of children there. Do you think when you when you 
your your child cry they will have time to carry and pamper and pamper there's a stage at which they will pamper if he does not want to hear they, they drop him or her because there are there are there are plenty of children there they have to take care of many children and not just one child so it's not easy to give the hundred percent attention aldo rivera thanks for coming to my life thank you so much big kiss to you thank you i'm giving kisses to everybody who comes to my life today and don't forget to smash that like button you are welcome to the um to the live stream what do you think? Do you think men should be given paternity leave? What do you think? Yes or no? Okay. Living Vlog says, if three months is too small, what about Dubai? Their paternity leave? Ah! Jesus. 48 days. Oh, no. That's too small. That's too small. That's when you see children, they are, they are like, it seems like they are isolated because... They are not used to you. Have you ever wondered, children, when they, they you take them to the daycare, and they are like they are like they are like this before they get to the daycare, and immediately they see that person who used to take care of them, who used to feed them, who take off their pampers, who put them, who give them new pampers, who change their clothes, who put them to bed when they want to take a nap in the afternoon, and they are, they, are, they will start jumping up and they are happy. And you'll be wondering, is it not the child that was giving breakfast this morning and he does not even want to eat? And um, it's just like, at the end of the day, he gets to the daycare and he's jumping up. Have you ever wondered that? On time 74, thanks for coming to my life. I appreciate you for coming. Thanks for the thumbs up. Mm, chap knuckle. Chap. <laughs> Have you ever wondered that? Have you ever wondered why... Um, Children will be playing, they'll be playing, they're happy with the nanny because there's some people who actually have the money to, to employ people to stay at home and take care of the kids for some hours or so. It depends. Okay. Have you ever, I'm cooking, but leave it to run. Oh, thank you, Wendy TV. Have you ever wondered why they'll be playing before the parent comes in and um, at the end of the day, when the parent comes, they're like this? Because they don't even know you. They know, yes, you are their mom. They know, yes, you are their dad. But they don't have any relationship with you. They are not free with you. Oh, no. 48 days is too small. Oh, no, 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 no. That's bad. Okay, what's our rest is us. Those who are looking for part-time job as cleaner should let me know. As a... We are in Dubai. Abby, no, not you. Rosa Red, where do you stay? Tell me in case I, I know people who are looking for, for part-time job. So we connect. Okay, babies are not for both parents. Not okay, babies are for the both parents, not only the mother. Exactly. African African men don't know how to change diapers. My African women that are in the house, please say something. African men cannot change diapers. Lie lie. They will tell you, even even if you see the ones that have the, the God mind, the good mind, the mind of God. They want to even do it. If their brothers mistakenly walk in and see them doing it, or their, their family, anybody, especially the mother in law, comes in to see the, the brother changing their pass, they will be like, okay, in France, Germany, UK, US. Okay. Okay. Um, Rose, I read, um, are you on Facebook? We need to connect then. If you're. Oh, Sitochi, thanks for coming to my life. I'm sorry. That's why I have my phone to read comments, but even at that, um, it's coming very slow. I'm very sorry for not acknowledging your presence. Thanks for coming to my life. I appreciate you for coming. So that that's it. It's not easy. It's not easy for only one person to do it all. Hmm. My friend who, are, who have a baby now, because um, the father had to, to go to Germany to work. She stays in France. Yeah, I'm on Facebook. Okay, if you don't mind, you, you drop your Facebook IG. If you don't want it, or I drop mine. I will drop my, check me on Facebook. I'm dropping my right now. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. That's me. That's me. You can add me on Facebook. I'm going to accept the request. So it's not easy, my friend, because I husband had to go to Germany to work. Eh? I tell you, when I called her yesterday, she was like, oh, oh, oh. I said, what happened? Even me that work. I slept. I was very tired. I said I was going to go live, but I couldn't go live. And I slept around to 12 midnight. I woke up this morning. I was fine. 
I know, yes, I had to work. I got to be strong. So I was, I was okay. I was fine. And I said, you're not working. How will you be? You're only every day like that in the morning. She was like, hey, hey. My son, every month he changed character. And the one he had this month is the worst of all. She was saying, I pray. <laughs> um, he, the month runs out very fast. So he, he gets to another month. Let's see if he's going to have a new character. The baby does not sleep. The baby is LDO. Nothing is wrong with him, more, but he does not sleep in the night. It's like when nights come, the, the, the thing will just start pinching him on the bed and say, don't sleep. And it will suck from, from that night till morning. I tell you. No, no, no. This is serious. And I was like, okay, you just sent a friend request. I'm, I'm going to see it. I was said, it's not easy. It's not easy for just one person to take care of the kids. Like what um, Dan Organic said. When I was working in the hospital in Nigeria, I have a, a woman, um, when she put to bed, okay, let me quickly go through the comments, so, because I read this, they pay parents free 300 euro, and also pay 194 euro for the children here in Germany. Okay, because I read, does it, okay, apart from the, the normal salary you will receive, they'll pay you 300, and they'll still pay you 194. Is that what you're trying to say? That's, the, okay. Let me ask like this. Sorry. Let me ask like this. It's like I'm not asking right. The 300 euro they are going to pay the mother. Is it for working class mother or non-working class mother? That's what I want to know. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, yes, so, okay. What she said, yes, so, you can stay at home and take care of kids and take care of, and take care of me. <laughs> All of the above. Wow, that's good. That's good. Okay. Let me see, let me see. In France, Germany, UK, US, um, I've seen all that. Um, okay, Dan Organic says, the sacrifice are worth it in the development of your child. Exactly. Both, um, physically and mentally, everything. Everything is worth it. I tell you. Okay, I they say it is the responsibility of the man to assist his wife. Exactly. Well, African men don't assist their wife. That is why you will see African women they grow old more than the the, the 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 men, which is not supposed to be so. I can't imagine I am I am very much younger than my husband. Maybe he's ten years, he's eight years, he's five years older than me. And at the end of the day, I will grow old. My face will now start to wrinkle more than my husband's own. No, it's not supposed to be so. It's not supposed to be so. Let him be older than me. <laughs> Let me continue to shine. It's not supposed to be so. But the stress African women are undergoing, especially in Nigeria, and um, when I talk, I used to um, be specialized in Nigeria because I am used to Nigeria. I was born and brought up in Nigeria, so I'm used to the system. I know more about Nigeria than every other African country. So if I'm talking about another African country, it's either as I have done my research or have, um, yeah, research. Either I check online, or I've meeting people, or I've asked questions. That's the only time you will see me when I'm talking about Africa and I talk about other countries. So, um, it's not easy. You work in, in Africa, Europe, they are, we are enjoying in the Europe. There's enjoyment in America, there's enjoyment in Europe. I really don't know about Asia. I don't know. Because some Asia country. Afri some African country is even better than some Asia country. So I don't know about Asia. But I know Europe, America, they take care of. Okay, let me see this. And this is it. Some African men are supportive. But it depends on how you as a woman started a relationship. It's, they are, but it's rare. It's rare. That's the truth. Only the learned one knows. And when I talk about somebody who is learned, I'm not talking about... I'm not talking about um, someone who have a classroom degree. I'm talking about people who got brain. Some people you think they are learned, they have the classroom degree, and they have nothing upstairs. So when I talk about learned people, I'm not just talking about um, people who have classroom degree, diploma. I'm not talking about those people. No. That, those are not the people I'm talking about. Okay, Rosa, I will just send you a message on Facebook then. We will talk about the job. Oh, no problem. Probably after the live stream or tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. I have the whole day to myself. I will sleep and wake up anytime. <laughs> I love off days. 
I'm not lazy. Oh. Nobody should come. Um, nobody should, should get at me. Okay. Ozito, she says, mother is suffering. Huh. Don't go there. Don't even go there. Mothers are suffering. I tell you. Mothers are suffering. Seriously. Hmm. You take care of kids. Breastfeed kids. You do not sleep overnight. In the morning, you still go to work. Oh. You even wake up and cook and do... For, eh? Who would do all those ones? Me, I cannot come and kill myself. I'm telling you. My husband must be supportive because... Before, when we get married, yes, we, we agreed to get married and we, we, we got married. But when we want to start having kids, we'll still agree, okay, oh, get pregnant, too. Oh. We'll still agree, okay, get pregnant, too. Oh, let's start having kids. And we'll be the one to agree, let's have two kids, let's have three kids, blah, 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 and all that. Okay. Did I agree alone that, okay, I want to get pregnant and have kids? You don't want kids, but I have kids. No. These children are bearing your name. These children are the ones that are going to succeed you. As a lady, if not for modern days, modern civilization, where you see some people, some ladies, they have their father's name attached to their husband's name. If not, in Africa, immediately you get married. What happens to your surname? It disappears instantly. You bear your husband's name. The children bear the husband's, husband's name. So, why will you not take care of the kids? Are the kids not his own? No, they must. They must. But I hope Africa will, will, will get civilized to that essence to know that for men to change their past is not a crime. For men to, to cook is not a crime. Some African men don't even know how to boil water. Tell them to go and set for your wood. They can't. They can't. I've seen a man who beat his wife because he says um, it's disrespectful for his wife to call him and say, Hello, um, please, sir, because you're, you are coming through um, this road and there's a market along the road, please drop and buy some things um she was specific like please um, buy please but we need tomato or we need pepper or we need this please um, brush and buy it and the man he did not buy it he came home and started quarreling with the wife and because the wife was like trying to talk he said he beats her to to mad and say am i am i a slave you want to tie me under your rapper you know how africa can be now <laughs> don't be smart you know he says you want to tie me under your rapper you want to use okay they have started teaching Teaching you to come and use juju for me. Ah, uh, no. That is, that is so bad. Me, I see nothing wrong in that. My father. I know my, my parents are not together. It's not my happiness. But I think for me, it is better for them to be apart than uh, for, for one person to kill one person or the other to kill the other. I have my parents. I, I still enjoy my parents. It's, it's, it's better for me than they kill yourself or they injure yourself. But when they were together to what I saw, to what I have seen, every weekend, because my dad goes to work, he works with the last man in Lagos, um, he comes on Friday nights, and when he's coming, he either comes with a lap, with a lap of, um, of um, goat, goat meat lap, or pork meat lap, he used to come with it, he's gonna buy the pepper, the pepper, the fish, everything we we'll eat for that week, cornflakes, um, the bon vita and the milo, you know the baba salad size. We used to eat, we buy every, and when it's coming, it's coming with every load, and we'll be sweating, bringing the loads like that. And every Friday, it's, it's now like a tradition in the house. We'll have to sit in the front of the house because we are stretching neck. We are waiting for my daddy. He's, he does not fail. My dad does not fail. He's, he's always coming with those bags and when he come he will still give us i remember then he gave us 50 50 naira he will say so your children go and play go and buy gala he wants to enjoy with his wife oh. <laughs> he wants to enjoy with his wife that then the the usual drink he used to drink if they are not drinking calypso for nigerian people i'm sure you know what calypso is if they are not drinking calypso he has either bought his bottle of beer he does not drink more than two bottles or he drink one with his glass cup, why my mom would drink a malt because my mom don't drink beer. Then she does not drink beer. She will just be there with a bottle of malt or they both drink a lips. And they'll be enjoying why we'll go and buy gala and be, you know, we are playing, enjoying ourselves. You see, that is the kind of um bond and relationship family are supposed to, to build together. Not the man doing his own separately, the woman doing her own separately. And the kids, they'll start having some kind of feelings and some kind of grudges. They'll, they'll be close to their mom more than their dad, or they'll, they'll, they'll be scared. No, children don't need to be scared or afraid of their parents. 
what children need to do is to respect their parents and that is part of what i said in that video you guys need to go check it bad uh, i think bad african parenting yes bad african parenting because most children in africa they are scared of their parents because the father did not build any bond of friendship between um the, the child father and daughter or father and son relationship why some african people believe that um the father the, the son should be close to the father the the mom should be close to the daughters no it's not supposed to be so the parents should be the best friend um of the children if anything happens if they are having any issues oh thank you wendy exactly it's the truth if they're having any challenges or they're having any issues the parents should be the 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 first person they will be able to confide in before any other person that is why i so much love the family i'm working with right now what they do every day every day after eating they sit at the table and discuss okay uh, i think they have three kids and even the last um, son is just um i think it's just two years and they ask everybody what do you do uh for for the day and they start saying okay when i woke up i i went to i took my bath i went to work um this is what happened at work i come home if it is the husband that prepared the the the, the lunch will be uh, the dinner it will be like i prepared the dinner and um, now we are eating <laughs> and everybody will start laughing the wife will be like okay this is what i i did the the children they will be like okay oh if he thanks for coming to my life don't forget to give your baby a thumbs up Susan Dumbuya oh my darling thank you so much for coming to my life you guys did not miss too much don't forget to give your gay thumbs up i just see one thumbs up it remains one it remains one if you have not given me kindly give me so what do you guys think do you guys think um men deserve to have paternity leave if yes give your reason if no give your reason so they will all talk about what they do and even the small boy will be like uh oh, uh oh. I can't speak French. I would have speak it the way he used to speak. It's very funny. It would be like I went, I woke up, Tata bit for me. Tata means auntie, which is me. Felicity, thanks for coming to my life. I appreciate you for coming. You are welcome to the chat. So Felicity, what we are talking about this night is do men deserve to have a paternity leave? What do you think? If it is yes, let us know your reason. If it is no, let us know your reason. So the, the small boy will be like, oh, Tata bates me, which is me. I am Tata, that's auntie in French. She bates me, then I go to crutch. I, I, all what they do in the crutch, they will say it, they will, you know, and they will just laugh over it. And if there's something the kids have done that um, they really need to look into, or there's a serious issue, they will, they will be able to sort it out. But when I look amazing, really, oh, thank you. Maybe it's the light. I have a miracle light. That I'm using it's a very it's a small one I just put it at the back of the of the um, of the phone and I have the, the normal light you see and the background is also is white so it makes the lightning more more good thank you so that's the white were you here since during the discussion no what do you guys think do you guys think men deserve paternity leave if yes give your reason if no give your reason and don't forget to give me thumbs up kindly give me thumbs up so as i was saying the world talk about it and that's how family should be men should also create relationship and bond it's not the light it's <laughs> it's a beautiful face Joe. thank you but you know the live stream i've been doing since i bought this phone it's not as bright as this now but i think it's bright the phone is good it has good camera but it also need um it also need good lightning Mm -hmm. Thank you. My face, no makeup. Oh, she has seen it. There's no makeup on my face. I just had my shower this evening and I just rubbed my cream. Finish. That's all. No makeup. Only the lipstick. <laughs> I love lipstick so much. Nobody should get at me. Oh. Okay, if he's going to, let me see. Eh? Hey, sit there. I'm coming for you. Tessie White, I'm coming for you. I do you like this. I'm not going to talk now. <laughs> Felicity says, if he's going to take the leave and assist in the home, then yes. Yes, ma. If he does not want to, if he does not want to assist, why, why, the, uh, English. Oh, it's not easy. 
Everything will get twisted at a point. If he does not want to help, why will he take the leave? For crying out loud, why? He should work now. If you know you will not assist me, if my husband take paternity leave and he do not assist me, I will just tell them to to employ. <laughs> Let him go and work. <laughs> so you want to sell for fifty euro? You know I don't have money now. YouTube have not start paying me. If you to pay me, don't worry. I I, I owe you. No, I do not owe you. Promise is a debt. If you to pay me, I will pay you. Don't worry. Wait till when you to be pay me. Just be 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 dropping the thumbs up now. Don't worry. Why are you laughing, Tessie White? It's not you that cause it. You are doing that cause it now. And I'll, I'll tell my mommy for you. I'll tell my mommy for you that you are threatening me. You want to say thumbs up for me. For what? For what? Eh? If I start crying now, it's not good. Okay. Let me see what if you have to say. Paternity leave, K. <laughs> Just after some days, they want to go back to work. <laughs> because... <laughs> I want, I want to make me to cry. <laughs> you allow me to remember what uh, what trespassed between my, my uncle and his wife. <laughs> do you know when my uncle got married? He's in Lagos. He's a barrister. So if you guys need anything to do with a lawyer in Lagos, Nigeria, and you need a barrister, you can let me know. My uncle is a barrister and um, he's good at what he does. So, um... When when they when they got married, you know, normally now newly married couples will be together, playing love in Tokyo, doing everything. And when the baby comes out, hmm, they were staying in a two room apartment. Hmm, that's two bedroom flat. I mean to say, he sent his wife packing, like he did not even say it. Like, oh honey, um, uh, go to the other room so you have enough space. For he said, you people should. <laughs> Room. The noise cannot, I can't cope again. The noise cannot. This one now is a man that they are always at home. Apart from when he goes to work, he comes back. He said, No, he can't cope. He said, I have to go to work the next day. And um, all I all I receive in the night is cry and cry. And he said, No. He said, No, he cannot cope. That they should go to the other room and lock their door. Why he lock his own door so he can snore? Can you imagine? Hmm. No, be smarting. Okay. Um, Living Vlog says, what I and my husband agreed on was that when I give birth, I will be working in the morning where it works at night. We will be taking care of the baby in the morning while I take care at night. Wow, that, that's really nice. Okay, that's why I say some men deserve paternity leave because they would help. Why some don't? Because they won't, they won't help. Okay, it all depends on the men. Exactly. That's true. But um, exactly what um, your name, I don't want to pronounce it wrongly okay living vlog exactly what she said is what i was sharing the other time i did i couldn't um, finish sharing there's a man where i work um when his wife when the woman came to give to deliver a baby she had the baby and i think there was something she needed to do and she was like don't worry don't worry my husband will do it and i was like we can help you she said no no worry we'll come and do it me and my husband, we agreed before having children. I think that was our third uh, issue, our third baby. She said, we agreed before having children that. Is that this one now is, is an agreement. <laughs> a sealed agreement before they even have their first baby. That, Joy, I'm still waiting for the help. Oh, for the picture. <sighs> I will try. I pray. I will try tomorrow. Since the, the video will not take, I will use um this application. What's it called? Um, do do recorder to do a a screen screen video. I will try to edit one of my pictures so you guys would see how it works and everything, and I will upload it. I will try it tomorrow. I will try to upload it. so you will see the name of the app and how to use it because it's it's really very nice. It will make like you can see my face. I have. Some little, little, little dark spots. If you just put lit, just little slight touching on, on with the application, the, the, the picture will look so nice. And it will look natural. That's it. It will look nice and natural. There are some kind of filters you will use. And at the end of the day, you'll just be looking at the picture like, oh, this filter is too much. It's not good. No. This one will make it look natural. I will try tomorrow. Tomorrow is my off day. I want to sleep and snore. 
So let's see when I wake up. <laughs> let's see when I wake up. So um, she was like, that's the agreement. She will take care of the children during the day because he's not around. He goes to work. He's busy. And when the man comes, let me see. If he's saying something. If he says, that's my hobby for you, you will leave me. <laughs> You go should please don't let my stomach to boss. I'm eating boku salad today. I don't want my stomach to boss, please. He will even run to the parlor to sleep. Or leave us in the bedroom and go to the <laughs> to the children's room. This is serious. So men don't want disturbance at all. I tell you. He just send them back in home. They pack all their things and they say he don't want. All the things of the baby everything they pack it to the other room with the mother-in-law that came for the omugo. They all went to the to the other room. Say because he wants to sleep, and he needs to sleep peacefully. <laughs> so they had the agreement, and all true. When they were in the hospital, I think they stayed for like five days before they discharged them. The man will come in the morning, um, in the evening. He would sleep in the hospital, and it's it's very different from every other baby we've been we used to deliver because before normally. If they are in the hospital, it is the duty of the nurses. Excuse me. It is the duty of the nurses to attend to the to the baby when they cry or to attend to the mother to assist the, the mom. Everything before they are being discharged. But to this one, hmm, the night duty I did. I was even thanking God. Thank God I was the one on night duty that week because I enjoyed myself. Apart from the fact that um we administer drugs to the patient who drugs. You know, there are some drugs that are hourly, maybe four hourly, six hourly. We give them their drugs, do everything, monitor the BP for hourly. I had to sit on the chair and like, oh, what a marvelous God, what a marvelous God. He has done marvelous things for me. What my mother cannot do, <laughs> what my father cannot do. He used to do marvelous things for me. I told you, I was singing because... <laughs> if he's laughing, I'm not joking though. Hmm. I just stayed here. Hey, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh. Kumama, Yahweh. I was happy because if the baby cry, the mom will wake up, carry the baby. If he pets, 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 it will be going through the world, coming outside, going. And we'll be there looking at him. Oh, I was saying, thank God. Thank God for my life. <laughs> Even the junior nurses, they were like, you people would have been the one carried. <laughs> if you are not joking, no. If you have ever done anybody, anybody in the live stream that have done uh, any kind of work apart from nursing and you used to do night shifts, please signify and tell me how simple it is. Tell me how sweet night shift is. You say, I want to kill you with laughter. Abby, I'm telling you the truth. You are laughing. Mm. I'm not joking, no. This one I'm telling you now, I'm not joking. I was so happy. Five days. And I had to do my nights because in Nigeria, they are so crazy. They are so crazy. It's not like Europe where you do, when you have how many hours you should work in Nigeria, there's nothing like any hour. You work, you do nights as a staff. You do five days night, you have two days off. Or you do six days night and have two days off. For the training, they do seven days night, they have two days off. Can you imagine? It's not easy. As a staff, sometimes you might sometimes you might have three days off. And I was so happy. I was so happy. When the baby um cries and maybe he pets, the baby does not want to comply to the petting. That's when he will now wake the mother. And sometimes the mother will be like, do the food, do the food. Do <laughs> and we'll just do the food and give to the and give to the baby. So the baby takes more food at night. Only when he does not want to take food or she does not want to take food, that's when the, mo the mom will wake up. And during the day, the baby sucks. That's how they do it. So at night, is the response. Even the grown-up uh, kids, the one like about, um, I think one is about six years. One is about six years and one is uh, four years. It is the man that will wake them up in the night. The one that is four years, I think four, is it four or three? He will be the one to wake them up in the night to go and pee. So they don't pee on the bed. You wake them up like once or twice in the night while the wife is snoring and enjoying her life perfectly. Because immediately it is morning, she has to wake up to, to cook um, breakfast for the whole family, to cook the lunch for the kids to take to school, and to cook the lunch. You know, 
here is not um africa is not like europe where children can eat in the school and even if children have to eat in the school in nigeria you have to buy the food and it's expensive and all that so um and children don't have the right to come home from school unlike here you can go home you have one hour break in nigeria i think the whole break is for five minutes or some schools is even 30 minutes which i think it is too small but we are not talking about school today in another uh, video we might be talking about that so um she has to prepare the lunch do everything go to work come back the kids will be at home assist them do and it's not easy so she she have to enjoy it too she said they, they both agreed and it has been working for them like that i think that is how it should be women should not be left alone okay someone just drop comment if he says it's not easy at all i've done it with old women here you see it's not easy oh huh. I, I i i i used to praise all those single mothers i know some some single mothers are crazy they decide to be single because they want to be single but not all single mothers not all single mothers wants to be single at, at least it's, it's 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 an happiness you'll be happy now when you have your baby your husband is there to show some love to at least carry the baby pat the baby in the shoulder there's some babies that eh, even though you do 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 you pet 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 they will still cry until the father comes and carry him or her and pet in the shoulder and you'll be wondering isn't that this baby that I've been petting since morning? How come? Is there a magic or something? No. There's no there's no magic. But the way you will carry your baby as a mother is different from the way the father will carry the baby. And fathers, they will be like, oh, they, they carry baby because, oh, they, they think maybe if they don't carry them well, they will fall down. Or they carry them like egg. They carry them like, oh, something. I know mothers carry baby. We take care of our babies, we, we treat our baby well, we treat our baby right. But there's a way fathers treat their baby. There's the kind of love fathers are transferred to, the, to their babies. But if men don't have paternity leave, that's... Okay. EMZ channel, thanks for coming to my life. I appreciate you for coming. Don't forget to give your baby a thumbs up. Thanks for coming. Hello, everyone. Okay. EMZ is saying hello to everybody. So, I think men deserve to, to get paternity leave. Um, EMZ, you are just coming into the live um, stream. What did you think? Do you think men deserve to have paternity leave or not? If yes, give your reason. If no, give your reason. For me, I think they deserve it. They deserve to help their wife. They deserve to know their children. They deserve to show that love. At least, even if it's two weeks, they deserve to. Let them stay with the children. Let them stay with the children. Welcome to our <laughs> Exactly. This is our meeting house. Everybody is always welcome. Everybody is always welcome. Exactly. Thanks for coming. You see, everybody is appreciating you. It's when you don't give that thumbs up. That's the problem. We will catch you and put the thumbs up because it's free. It's free. Nobody should be stingy. This is 2019. Happy New Year to every bro everybody. It has come to the issue of thumbs up. I'm telling everybody Happy New Year. In the New Year, you don't need to be to be stingy. This is April. Hmm. This is April. At least I've been sick for a very long time. <laughs> All the live stream I'm supposed to have been doing and the videos that I didn't do. Now I'm doing now. Nah, don't be stingy. Don't be stingy. Happy sister. <laughs> so to me, I think men really deserve. They deserve to have... That's work, don't be for work person. Don't be for work person, I tell you. Hmm. And do you know some children? Some children, they are they, they are just like that, child. Like the, the family I'm working with, the the anytime the man is around, he used to be the one that puts the, the small boy to bed. And anytime he's not around, he will remember. He used to he never forgets, he'll be like, ah. That is, he has not seen his father because it's the, it's the routine of the family. They, you know, French people, they give kiss to everybody. I have to carry him around to, to kiss everybody. And if it's remaining one person, he will be crying. He will be like, no, no, no. Pa, 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 pa. He has not kissed his, his dad. And anytime the dad is around, he does not want anybody else. He does not want anybody else to, to touch him or to carry him. He wants to be around his father. And if the dad is not around, he will remember, who is the next person? Is my mom. <laughs> That's how he does his thing. But imagine if the father has not been there or the father has not showed him love. How on earth will he ever remember his father? 
At the end of the day, in Africa, they will say, um, children, even though the men take care of the children, women take care of the children, that it is the, it is the mother that, that is to enjoy most. When it is the mother that do the most work. So why will she not enjoy the child? Why? Let somebody give me one reason. Okay. Also, to she just um, drop a comment. If men get paternity leave, many women will be pregnant. <laughs> Before the paternity leave is over. It's just two weeks, my dear. Two weeks. That thing is still they hot like fire. <laughs> that thing is still they hot like fire. Me, I don't have kids. I used to imagine sometimes. When I... When I started nursing in 2014, I used to think, I don't know. I know as, as, as a young adult, I know how delivery is and all those things, but I've not experienced it. The first delivery I will ever experience that I saw was one of my sisters that she delivered my hand. She delivered in a church. The baby, she, she was not feeling any pain. She was not feeling anything. And the baby almost came out before she started feeling pain. So they had to carry her to one corner of the church and deliver the baby. And I was just stretching my neck. I was stretching my neck to see. I want to see. Yeah. And that was, I think that is, uh, that was nine years back. Let's see, we will put space. <laughs> we will put space on the bed, not touching. Some men will not hear that one, no. Hmm. Some men are really very crazy. A man was telling me, he was telling me to my face, he said, when my wife, when his wife had the second kid, they, they started having sex at, at, is it two weeks? Is it two weeks or, two weeks or ten days? And I said, it did not pain, it did not, she was not feeling any pain. He said at first she was feeling pain now, but later she got used to it. I said, really? I said, don't you think you are wicked? He said, why am I talking like that? The person that did the thing, did she complain? I said, but no, that, that's wrong now. So when that just went through the stress, at least, some women, a month to when they want to have their baby, they'll start having sleepless nights, they'll start feeling pains, having stress, having leg pain, body pain, and all through the labor. Just two weeks, you're not allowed to rest and enjoy yourself. And the baby is there. She's still breastfeeding baby, taking care of baby, doing everything. And you'll still come with your own wala. No, that's so bad now. That's so bad. I was trying to say something before I switched. I can't remember. You see? That's my problem. I forget things too quickly. I can't remember. So it's not easy. It's not, it's not the work for one person. It's really not the work for one person. Everybody needs to get involved. Every single person needs to get involved. Because at the end of the day, it will affect both the parents and the children. The children will not be used to, the, to, to you as a father. They don't know you. They only know you as father. And they'll be scared of you. When you're not friendly to them, it's not like African parents that will come back from work. I don't even know how to squeeze face. They'll be squeezing their face and doing their face like a unripe plantain. They'll just be doing anyhow, like mango that have spray. They'll be doing anyhow, like a goosey soup that have sour. For what now? For what? That's so bad. I will look back from work when you're supposed to be smiling, when the children are supposed to be like, oh, dad, welcome, dad, welcome, dad, welcome. The little time you have together, they want to sit down and be with you. And you'll be like, hey, what's going on here? No, it shouldn't be so. It shouldn't be so. There should be a bond between father and children, be it girls or boys. There should be. I, I, I don't think I am ever, ever, ever free with my dad. If I call my dad today, if I call my dad today, <laughs> your little will talk is hello. Good evening, sir. It will be like, Omo, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. How is your health? Hope there's no problem. Yes. Hope there's no wala. Yes. Hope you are okay. Yes. How is work? Fine. Finish. We don't have anything to talk again. If we will ever have anything to talk, is uh, did you call your mom? Yes. Hope she's okay. Yes. Finish. Nothing to talk because we don't have that close. Even when my dad was a friendly person, but you know Africans, the way the way they treat children, children are always scared of their dad. So I'm, I'm that person that is always scared. Is it somebody you are scared of? Somebody you are, even when he smiles, fear no will let you smile because you are scared. I told Obi that everything is 50-50. Exactly, everything is 50. I think that's, I me. Mean, I will take to your own your own will. Some people might be like, what is she saying? I me, mean, I know what I'm saying. I don't want to die young and I don't want to overstress myself. I don't want to. I want a husband who can help, who will cook. I tell you, 
The family I stay with, the man cooks for the weekend. He cooks for the weekend. Saturday and Sunday will be the one to, to cook what the whole family will eat. Monday to Friday, the wife will be the one to cook what the whole family will eat. Because at weekend, he's free. Um, and the, the, uh, he cooks. That is the way of assisting. At weekend, when he's at home, he put the kids to bed. The wife will be there, but that's the way they do their thing. She will sit down, he will go and do it. Because she also deserves to rest. Who is a machine? I mean, we are all human beings. We have blood running in our veins. So we should be considerate. We should help each other. It shouldn't be that. There's no work that is... Did they ever put any work and say legally, this work is for women, this work is for men. Women are doing shoemaker. Men are doing shoemaker. Women are doing shoemaker, which is a modern way of saying cobbler or anything. I don't know. Men are doing brick layer. Women are doing brick layer. Molding houses. Women are doing it. Any kind of engineer you want to think of, both men and women are doing it. Any kind of work, doctor, women are there. Now, women who come food their past now. Even now, before, nurses are meant to be for, for women. They say it is only women's job. Now, they are male nurses. They are male nurses. Even midwife, they are male midwife. So, why is it that when it comes to the family, when it comes to the house, they'll be like, oh, it is women's work to cook. It is women's work to wash the dishes. It is women's work to, to sweep, to clean the house. Okay, what happens when the man was a bachelor? Who, who used to cook for him? Who used to do everything for him? Oh, no, that's so. That's why you see some men. Immediately they have freedom, they just want to get married. Because they are so lazy or they don't know how to do anything. Or rather, they know how to do, but they don't want to do anything. They just go and marry. Because they think, uh, no, me, I can't, I don't want to kill myself. I don't want to stress myself. I don't want to start having wrinkles because of stress. Do you know some women? Ah, I've forgotten the name they used to call a mental problem that is attached to, to maternity um, stress. When you stress yourself, when you undergo too much stress, it can affect the brain. Because, especially for, for women, mostly for women who are having their baby for the first time, it used to happen to them. And they have mental illness after the baby because of the stress. It's something you are not used to. Your baby will be crying in the night, and some babies will cry from immediately. It is 9 p.m. <laughs> some baby will have time. I've, I've seen a baby like that. He cry and cry and cry and cry. He will cry immediately. It is 8 p.m. till 5 in the morning. And you know, normally where I work, it is the nurses that bait for the um, nurses bait for the for the for the babies. Before you, you, you finish your night shift, you have to bake the baby, make sure the mother has bait, unless they say they don't want to, they don't want to take their bait. You do the warm water for them, they have their bait and everything. You understand? Before handing over to the next shift. The baby will start sleeping 5 o'clock. That's when they will start sleeping. When in, in few minutes, we want to bake the baby. So, everything is well organized and everywhere is okay. Before, before it is morning, the baby will start sleeping. And I'll be like, you are sleeping. You will wake up, oh! <laughs> And when we are baiting this baby, he will not open his eyes. He will be sleeping and be enjoying the water. After baiting, he will sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. He might even sleep for straight four hours without opening eyes. And I say, is this not wickedness? With this baby, why are you, why are you doing like this? <laughs> we are supposed to sleep in the night and play in the day. And that is because they are just trying to adapt. They are trying to adapt to the system. In the stomach, it's always warm. In the, in the womb... It's, it's always dark and um, they feel like every time they are, they are there, they don't know the difference between day and night. Oh uh, no, it's not easy. This work is not easy for just one person. If he said, my hobby help out once in a while. <laughs> but mostly when I'm sick, he does everything and also care, take care of the kids. If him no do him that time, who go do him? Exactly, that's true. So men take care of the kids only when they know their wife is sick. But... One thing they need to know is that that's what I used to tell my fiance. You would say, oh, you are, you are an African man. You cannot, you would cook. You need to learn how to cook too. You don't need to come and kill me because I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a woman. Then does that mean I should die? Does that mean I should kill myself with work? No. No, 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 no. Let somebody come and tell me, they'll come and quote the Bible for me. And come and tell me where it is in the Bible that women must do audio work. 
Let them tell me. Let them tell me. We are supposed to be helpmates. We are supposed to help each other. Not to put me under the old stress. And in the night, after, okay, after I have cook, clean the house, make sure the house is tidy, mostly take care of the kids. And I work. We both work. You are working class, I'm a working class. You bring money, I bring money. We are trying to balance the equation. We do things together. And when it comes to, to I work, I undergo stress. You work, you undergo stress. You will come and come and sleep. But I work, after the work, I will still come home and do extra work. And at the end of the day, the night, you'll be waking me. Ah, if you wake me. <laughs> if you wake me. Just like uh, if he says, if he has said so, we will put the location. <laughs> Don't wake me up. My dear, it's not easy. So that's what I just want to talk about tonight. And I see many people are in support of it. And it's really nice to me. I think it's good. Even they, they can even increase it to one month. Truth, I'm telling you. Because that early stage is is um is really important. The woman might maybe undergo CS. The woman might um maybe have tear and the suture her before she's able to even work properly, before she's able to sit properly. And at after birth, there are some um appointments you have to go and do check up for the baby to collect some documents for the baby, to do everything. It's not easy for the woman alone to be with someone that does deliver that needs to to be in Nigeria. In Nigeria, do you know, uh, people people that are from Nigeria, they know now, your mother-in-law would come and do a mugo for three months. Three months you'll be... That's why mostly in Africa, women, after, um, after they have their babies, they used to be very fat. They are very fat because your mother will be around... You should just be sleeping, you bath, sleep, enjoy yourself. Your mother will take care of the baby. Your mother will cook if you want her to cook. She will cook, do everything. Wash the baby's clothes and you are there enjoying, enjoying yourself. You see, that's it. But that's, that's, that's for, for Africa. But for women in Europe, no, nobody to help. You will help yourself. You got to be strong for yourself. My friend, when she had a baby, at immediately she got home, she started cooking, started doing everything. And I was like, oh, it's not, can you do it? It's not easy. She said, oh, do you think this is Africa? This is not Africa. When you have a baby, she was now telling me, she said, when you have a baby, you need to be strong. You would cook, you would uh, clean the house, you would do everything because her husband was not around when she had a baby. I told her I was not working in Germany. And she stays here. It's not easy. I said, for me, eh, hmm, that's why I used to say, my husband cannot work in another city and he's working there permanently. I will not agree. The only way he can work, maybe he, he, he have a contract to go and work for two months and he will come back eh, to the office and accept. But for my husband to be working maybe in another city, like eh, maybe, um, I really can't say, like some hours, like, Eight hours, ten hours. No, it's not possible because I'll be the one that going on the stress mentally. And um, this mental illness is something. I have women, I have seen, no, not I have, I have seen a woman that have um, that stress. Immediately she, she had a baby, she was, I've forgotten the name. There's a name, there's, there's a name for it. That mental illness, in, uh, maternity after, um, after maternity uh, stress, there's actually a name for it. There's a name. And uh, there is there's a particular drugs that such people who, who have a... Okay, some people are just coming in, I think so. If you're just coming in, kindly drop comment. Drop comment, let us know you are in. So, uh, the topic of today is, should do, do men deserve to have paternity leave? As you've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title. What do you think? If you are just coming in, please drop a comment. Let us know. Do you think men deserve to have paternity leave? For me, I think 100% they need to. They even need to increase it to, to one month. <laughs> they need to increase it to one month. It's just two weeks. They really need to because men need to, to, to have a certain relationship with their children, especially when they are still small. It's important. So your children will not grow up to fear you. They will grow up to have... That special bond. You will show your children love. Yes, you will feed them. They will know you. There's this um, thing. Like women, 
for women who have children that used to breastfeed your, your children, even when the, their eyes are not uh, totally open, if they are crying, and maybe people are, um, there are two, three, four persons around, and they've been trying to pet the baby, the baby did not stop crying, immediately you carry the baby, the baby stops crying, even before breastfeeding. Why? Because they, they, you used to carry them every time. They know how your, your body odor is. They know the smell of the breast milk. They, they can perceive the smell of the breast milk. They can perceive the smell of your body. They know, okay, this person is my mother. If children, that their eyes are not even completely open, they can know their mother from strangers. So, what, what do you think? If as a father, you, also, you are there to show concern, to show love to your children, then that's, that's the way to, to grow the bond, to grow the relationship, I tell you. But some men, they are just really, they are lazy. Even just like what um, Tessie White says, they are lazy. Even when... Okay, vocal say, I can't listen, but from topic, men already take paternity. Yeah, so that, yeah. That's true, not all men are lazy. That's why I say some men. Some men. Some men are lazy, they don't want to do it. And some men just it's just their, their way of thinking and their own mentality. And that goes for African men because any man in Europe or any man in America, they know they have to, to assist in taking care of the baby. They know. Your hobby and brothers are not lazy, really. Ah, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. You are you are lucky to have such a husband. Not all men. But in Europe, they, they know they have to. They have to support. They have to assist. It's not easy. Your brothers are Africans. Oh. You are lucky. And they are really nice. Your mom tried in, in raising children like that. Because for men, not as if maybe they are, they are lazy. Maybe they can't work, normal work, to put food on the table, to take care of the wife and the family. But, but, anything that has to do with children, they feel like, oh, if they do it, um, they feel like it is the women's work to do it. That's their kind of thinking. That's their kind of um, reasoning. They feel like it's the women. It's left for the women to do it. Do you understand? So that's the problem. Not because they don't want to do it. And some will be shy to do it. They'll feel like, oh, if I do it, what if my sister walks in? What if my mom walks in? They'll say I'm a woman rapper. Or they'll say, oh, your wife have tied you. Your wife have tied you under the rapper. Some African men cannot change their rappers. They don't know how to wear their rappers. Even when the woman is cooking or she's washing or she's doing anything and the baby had to go to the toilet or the baby actually went to the toilet and it's they will call the mother to come and clean up. They can't just go there, take water, clean the baby up and flush the toilet. They will still call the woman to come and clean up. You see, it's just the, um, it's the background and the way they've been bringing up, um, they've been raising male children. So I think in this new generation, we should try to raise male children to know that there's no certain work for women. They should learn to help uh, their wife. There should be, uh, is it equal, equality or something? Yeah, I think equality. There should be equality. They should do everything equal. You shouldn't overstress your wife so later she will not have uh, maternity stress. It's not fair on we ladies. It's not fair. Okay. Vokalam says, even my grandma trained all my uncles well. So they cook and clean. Really? Oh, kudos to her. Kudos to her. I tell you, some men, common boxers, their own boxers, they can't wash. They will drop it and say, please, this. They have other boxers, so. And they know, okay, maybe this particular boxers is what they want to wear. They will say, please, help me wash these boxers. I want to wear it tomorrow. And you just came out from the bathroom. I will, me, I will ask you a question. Why didn't you wash it? They soap there. Why? Some men are like that too. Your gram your grandma really try. Okay. If you say some men themselves are like <laughs> some men themselves are like children. To their wife, don't <laughs> double try to take care of. <laughs> it gives maternity leave. I tell you sincerely. That is my number one point. So you guys should watch out for my video on um if you want to marry. Um, a African man or a Nigerian man. These are the the, the things you should you should know. You should know it before you you do it. So don't say somebody did not tell you. 
No, but one thing is, yes, but they are saying the truth. I don't understand. I don't understand Vokalan. No, but one thing that you should watch out for is that your husband are your number one children because they, they want you to treat them like children. They, they know what to do, they will not do it. They will come back from the office, they will just pull their trousers, pull their shirts, put everything on the floor or they will leave it on the bed. Uh, if my husband tries that, even if I want to sleep, I will pretend as if sleep is not worrying me. I know he's going to work the next morning. Let me see if he will not remove the clothes from the bed. I'm telling you. It's wrong. You are an adult. You know, okay, this cloth is dirty. Um, I think some people are just coming in. If you are just coming in, drop comment. Let's know you you just came uh, so you can join the conversation. Some people, eh? Some men, I mean to say, sorry. They would come. They know, okay, this cloth is dirty. Let me put it uh, where the, the, the dirty clothes would go. They know, okay, um, they know what to do, but they will not do it. They will put the clothes, they will put everything. Some men will clean their body with the towel in the bathroom. They see the, the rope for where to, to dry them. They will just squeeze it and put it in one corner. That's really wrong. I'm telling you. Some African men, some African men, uh, they, they want you to treat them like a baby, and they are not babies. They are full grown adults. But I, I don't know why. You are saying the truth about some men, especially African men. Uh, yeah. Especially African men. It goes for my hobby for you. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be shouting like, <laughs> like mad woman. Oh, oh my god, this is serious. I told you. It's not only you. You think it's you. Hmm. That is why my fiance, now that we've not gotten married, um, I've started telling him, if you do like this, this is what I will do for you. If you do like this, this is what I will do for you. So no, now, if I start doing it, don't say I didn't tell you. Start learning. And now, it's good. It's, it's even good at washing bathroom and toilet. That one thing is good at. Immediately, he finished bathing. He's finished taking his bath. He will just immediately... Starts cleaning as he's bathing, he's using leg to scrub everywhere to clean everywhere. Immediately, we'll just take the foam, clean the bath bathroom. So, if I have to wash the bathroom, self, I don't have problem because every day I know he used to do that one. If you use the toilet immediately, he will start washing it, scrubbing, doing everything. He's good at those ones. I know he does not like cooking, but if it is to fry, to fry, fry anything, he knows how to fry. So, me too, I know he does not like cooking. And he will learn because he has to learn. Because when we get married and we start staying together, it's possible. Maybe when our work is not working. And you can't expect. And let's be sincere. That's the truth. That's the truth African men don't want to accept. When you are not working, you are at home. You can't expect me that go to work and come back. I will be the one to come and cook when you are at home. It's not fair. That's wickedness to me. To me, it's wicked because you yourself, you are hungry. You are at home. You cannot cook. No. So he will learn it. I know he does. He's not used to cooking. He does not like it. But he have to. I started telling him, you must learn how to cook. You can't come and kill me with work. You can't. Okay. If he says, but some men are very good at house chores. Some men are good. Okay. Yes, now. Nah. Even though they don't know how to carry baby, they can help around with the house chores. It it helps. There's no small small thing to do. It helps if they can help and clean. When the baby is making trouble and doing everything, it's, it's, it's good now. Okay, just stop by to show love. It's bed, it's bed time. Yeah, I think that's what you're trying to say. Thank you, everybody. Oh, thank you so much. If you haven't given me thumbs up, don't forget to give me thumbs up. Even here, yeah, what's the time? Wow, time I've really gone. I started late anyway. I just want to round this up to two hours and I'm, I'm fine. Because I don't want to fall sick again. <laughs> I don't want to fall sick again. I think I have about 37 minutes to go. I don't want to fall sick again. The last time I felt sick, it has taught me a big lesson about life. I now get to know that um, if you are stressing over something, when the time when when the time comes for you to get that particular thing, you will get it in ease. Uh, because if I I, I want to get monetized, I want to get monetized. I want to do live stream. I want to do this. At the end of the day, when I felt sick, YouTube continue. I will be on the bed. I I can't even touch my phone. I can't do anything. I'll be receiving notification of people's video. I can't even watch. The only ones I manage to watch is the live stream. 
Because if I play it, I'll just leave it here. I won't drop comment. I won't do anything just to support people. That's how I, 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 I am. That's how I manage my myself for uh, the one week, two weeks. Yes. That's how I manage myself. And when I started getting better, that I started feeling... Sometimes, I, I, one particular day, I slept for 24 hours. I couldn't even check notification. And the next day, when I wake up, I just hold my phone like this. I say, I just wipe away all the notification. I don't even want to see it. Because when I see them, I'll get tempted. I want to watch. I want to support. I want to this. And at the end of the day, YouTube, YouTube was there. Why I was dying. So if I had died, YouTube will continue. So now, I want to do things easily. I want to take things a step at a time. That is why I will encourage people who don't uh, upload regularly. I will encourage you to try and upload. Try and upload. Because um, if people don't watch it now, the, a time will come when people will watch. A time is coming. Trust me. When people will watch those, those videos you do, that have just 10 views. Those videos you do that have just 20 views, a time is coming when they will watch. Because when I started YouTube, I, I, I was uploading, I was I tried uploading. Before I started the live stream, I, I got to 800 subscribers before I started live stream. And it took a very long time to get to 800 subscribers. And the videos that I think, and I don't know anything about YouTube. So when I started meeting people in live stream, I get to know about tag. I get to know about um, hashtagging um, things, good tag, and description, good thumbnail. Do you know all those videos, like uh, my HIV, um, HIV AIDS um, story, my HIV AIDS story that I did, that I think nobody's ever going to watch. When I, when I went back to check my videos, and I'm seeing how many views I've got, I was like, really? So this video can, can really... Oh, Susan, thank you so much. Thank you. You're going to sleep, I understand. It's really late. It's 10 30, but I have um, about 34 minutes to go. Thank you. I went to attend to something, Jerry. Ah, no problem, Tessa White. I understand. You are my party, party now. As much as Susan is my party, everybody is my party. No time for, for, for eating anybody. No time for eaters. <laughs> thank you so much. You think you are... I think I'm late. You are not late. I... You were in the chat ever since now. I saw your, your comments some time ago. You are not late. You know, live stream... I don't think you can ever be late to a live stream. If it's a live stream. You can never be late because... People keep coming and... They keep coming and going. That's one thing about live stream because... Live stream... <coughs> excuse me. Live stream is not like video... We are, um, even video, you can't be late to, 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 to watching a video. Because the video is there forever. So you are not late. Okay, someone says, um, if he says, I don't even know how to share people's live stream on YouTube. How do you do it, sis? If you are you up to 1,000, I will check by myself. Let me see. Oh, you can't share. Well, if you was, what's going on? We are just 435. Wow. This is serious. I just gave you one anyway. By the time you check next, you'll be 436. I just gave you one with my other account. Wow. When you get to 1K, you'll be able to share. For now, I don't think you can share. You can't share. Only people who are 1K can share um, people's live stream. Okay. Living Vlogs says, thank you for encouragement, sis. I'm still learning YouTube on how to support people. <laughs> exactly. If you want to really learn, you really you need to start um, supporting people in live stream. And right now, for people who are above 1K, they don't really do teachings about um, YouTube. So for you to really learn, if there's anything, okay, in, in which area are you lacking behind? What are the things you really want to know? Let's see how we can help. Oh, you are not always fishing. Why now, if you try, try and be fishing now. So at least you, you get over 1K and you know the next thing you are targeting. Hmm? Try. It's not that stressful. Because me, I told you when I had the error message, blah, blah, blah. But now I'm fine. 
And um, now that I'm fine, I, I make sure, I make sure that I don't get more than, even if it's 10 people in a day, just try. You say, okay, oh, today, oh, I want to get 10 people. Or what is your figure right now? Your figure is um, 4.35. As it's 35, you say, okay, today, I want to get 15 people. Too much people to give love in a day. Oh, that's true. But you shouldn't bother about that. You shouldn't bother. You still need to increase your number. You should, you should, you, you should know. You have 435 people. Have you ever done a video and um, you have 400 people that watch the video? No, I don't think so. So that is to tell you that all the people you, um, all the people that is going to, to subscribe to your channel, not all of them would, would be, how am I going to say that? Not all of them will be consistent on your channel. Not all of them will show you love 100%. Some subscribe to you because you subscribe to them to increase their, their account. So why not do the same thing? Then after getting the 1K, you support people who support you. I do the same. Sometimes when they say white is life, I might be sleeping. I might even see our life, but I'm tired. Because before that, I don't work, I'm there. 24-7, if I see people live, I use my two phones. I even use my, my cousin's um, phone. I use it to be watching three people at the same time, four people at the same time. I might enter with my phone, drop comments with my phone, then I will go out and use the tablet to start watching. Sometimes I will use the television to watch. But now I have just two, two phones left with me. So, sometimes I will see the live stream, but I, I can't follow. What I will just do is in the morning, when I open my eyes, I will look at all the notifications. All the ones that I know that they don't, they don't used to watch, they have never watched my video. I've never seen their comment. I don't even know them before. Some people, I don't know them. They don't watch my video. I don't watch their videos. What I do is, I will wipe everything away. People that I know that, yes, they are always on my live stream. I will, I will start playing. Why I go to, because this is my own room. And the main beauty is at the other side. I will just drop the two phones to be playing. And I will go to work. I want to do my things. And sometimes I will come. I know, okay, this live stream is one hour. This live stream is two hours. It will finish. Two hours time, I'll come back and check. I'll remove that one. I'll put the next person. If it is a video of short time, maybe it is video. I will carry the phone to, to the apartment while I'm doing my work. If you finish playing, I clean my hand, I change to the next person. That's what I do. So if you can do the same thing. My videos, if I have ever done my videos and I have more people coming to, to look at me, maybe that video, I have shared it on Facebook. I have shared it on Instagram. I have shared it on, on everywhere shareable. That's when you see more people coming. Or I have a very good tag. There's one of my videos that has gotten more than three, three point something K views. And that's because it's something that is trending. It's about the video of that success girl. And I put a very good tag. Even when I go and type it on Google, I saw my video. I say, hey, Chideke, Jai is becoming international. Hey. You know, easy at all. So go and search on Google and your video come out. Is it easy? It's not. <laughs> it's not. I'm telling you. So don't bother. Just increase, increase. Please get to 1K. Get to 1K. I don't even know. Eh? I would have given you shout out since when we have new people. <laughs> this is why you're laughing. Hmm. You don't know what I did today. I went to Google. And I'll do... Because when... um. You know, we, we've been talking about the hashtag 1K friends, hashtag 4K watch hour. And I, I, I said it two days ago. I said, I used to do hashtag my channel's um, name. I said, let me go and check on Google. Maybe Google will know me. <laughs> it was, it's Bob Risky. Bob Risky that was insulting somebody and say, did Google know the person? Did Google recognize the person? I said, let me go and check. <laughs> Susan, you are laughing. I'm not joking now. Hmm. You go and try it and see. Did Google know you, Susan? That's a white. Did Google know you? Google know me, oh. <laughs> and I did the hashtag um, Johnson Joy. Eh? When I see my YouTube channel like this, I did like this. I did like this again. And I did like this again. I remember in those days, when somebody faint, they'll say, put your hand in your armpit. And use it no when you are you are feeling dizzy or you want to faint they'll say put your hand in your armpits and use it to rub your eyes 
And I, I, I did like that. I said, is this me? This is me. Ah, <laughs> God could know me. Oh my God, I was so happy. But I think without the hashtag, you can't find me on Google. But if you put the hashtag, you'll see my, my YouTube channel on Google. Maybe <laughs> Vlog says I'm so funny. Oh, I'm not even funny again. Now I am getting back to track. You know, I, I was just recovering like some days. If you if you watch my live stream some days ago, you'll see I'm not active because um, I was just recovering. But now I'm okay. Hmm. We are here. <laughs> Baba Toriski. <laughs> if you are funny too. Very, very, don't mind that, 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 I don't even know. Is it that lady or that, that, that man? Some people are really very, very funny. Eh? I wonder how, all these things they are doing. At the end of the day, they, when they will come to regret it, I pray it's not too late. Because he does not have a child before all this nonsense is doing. How will he have a child? What will the child call him? Uh, papa or mama? Man or daddy or mommy? Which one? No, no, no. This is this is serious and it's where well, everybody has their life to live so who am i to tell somebody how to live or how to do no 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 no. i think i'm i'm moving i have just 25 minutes left oh 25 minutes is long yeah, i don't even know how to talk again can you imagine me that i can stay for five hours ten hours oh my god i'm just recovering don't worry when i recover 100 percent you people will see me you will see me don't worry I have trending topic I want to talk about. When that time come, hmm. don't worry. Hmm. Okay. But, <laughs> is that not crazy? You know, some people just do things they don't think. They don't think. It's just about, just like some videos that I, that I saw. I've seen many crazy videos. Some I feel like, let me post this or let me talk about this. But, ah, I will look at it. Ah, how would I share this kind of a thing? People forget, people don't, will I say they forget to know or they don't remember that internet does not forget. That is one thing I thought about. They will surely see your face. <laughs> That's one thing I thought about before I start YouTube. I say, hmm, internet does not forget too. Because the videos, they will go worldwide because I'm doing the videos, it's public. Anybody can view it from all parts of the world. The topic I want to talk about, I used to be selective. Like this, the topic of today, I've done research, I've think, I've checked. I, because I don't want to do stupid things that um, at the end of the day, internet does not forget. Tomorrow now, your children will now come and be saying, oh, how, how will you feel? It's, it's really very bad to me, but um, he has chosen his own path. God bless him. He, he has his uh, judgment with, with God. So, um, I think for, for the people in the house and people who's going to watch the replay, but I don't ever think someone will watch replay and watch for, for one hour to seven minutes and will be sitting down there. It's not possible. They can only play it without watching. So, I would say if you are not married, it is still important for um, the kind of relationship, the way you build your relationship with, with your man. Because African men is what they grow up to believe and that's what they keep doing. But I think if you have a good... Because the man I was I was talking about, that his wife was saying um, he will take care of the kids in the night and um, she will take care of the kids during the day. It's a typical... A typical... Um, a typical Yoruba man. A traditional man at that. But because they had the agreement and um, they've built the... They've agreed, they've built the bond and the relationship together... He used to do it, no problem. But if you marry a man and he's messing up, or he have some kind of attitude, some kind of behaviors that you don't want, it's better you start kicking against it. Before you guys will get married and if you complain, he will say, there are some things I will complain about. My guy does not talk or he will not say anything because he knows right from time I don't like those things. And if he, if he does it, maybe sometimes he does it and I, and I, before I even complain, I'll just tell him, you know I don't like this thing. You know I don't like it. And you're doing it again. Just rephrase yourself. Put yourself on the right track. Because if I start talking, you'll say I'm talking. He knows. But if you have been doing those things, I'm not complaining. I'm not saying anything. And um, 
we get married, he keeps on doing those things. And I started complaining. It would be like, don't you know I, I do this kind of things before? Don't you know I don't cook before? Don't you know I can't take care of children before? Don't you know I cannot do this? Don't you know I can't assist? You see? So it's very important the kind of relationship both partners um, have together. That's also important. So when they have start, start, start having kids, they won't have issues. Even if they don't have paternity leave for men, at least you don't spend 24 hours at work. If your wife is working and, you're, and you as a man you are working and she have a baby, I think it is right, it's the right of both couples to take care of the children. If they are legally married, it's the right of both of them. Because they both have the children, even adopted children. I think even adopted children, there is there's paternity leave for the man, but no payment. I saw that on the internet. I don't know how sure that is. For adopted kids, the man have the right to, to, to receive paternity leave, but there will be no pay for the man. So even adopted kids, the government can give, um, can give, oh, what's it called? Um, the government can give um, leave. Then why why would they not give they they give for your own um for your own baby why would you not want to show your child the love no it's to me I can't stress it no no even only my friend <laughs> I said my friend yes I was calling her she was yawning heavily in the morning no was it yesterday or two days ago she was like uh, I'm so tired I said did you sleep she said no she did not sleep ah with all the stress I've been thinking God strengthen me. When it's time for me to become a mother, because I love to sleep and enjoy myself. She said no. She said when she was pregnant, when she was heavily pregnant, she used to complain and say, God, let this, let let um the month run fast so she have a baby and she will be able to rest. She said she never knew that um um prenat antenata um uh, postnatal. Okay. She said she she does not know that the postnatal um the postnatal stress is more than the no. I think I'm using the wrong word. Postnatal should be when you're in the hospital, the the, the care the nurses and the doctor will give you. Antenata is before you give birth. Postnatal is after you have your baby. Okay, she said she does not know that um the stress after delivering your baby is more than the stress when you are pregnant because the baby is in your stomach. You can still control even when the baby will not allow you to lie down. All those things. At least you will still sleep. But immediately you have the baby. The baby wants they want some, some certain things for themselves. Like a baby now, he does not sleep on his own bed. He wants to sleep on a bed. And the, I think the baby is just some months. And the baby would want to push you. He wants to <laughs> one day she even snapped the picture of the baby and sent to me and say, You see what this boy is doing to be? As small as he is. Look at what he's doing. He, she said the baby would push. And push a small baby like that. And if he push you with the leg and you are not pushing, there's a problem. He will push and push and push till he pushes mom to the to to the end of the bed and he will sleep. He will just sleep in the middle of the bed and put his leg on his mom. A baby that is just five months old. He just wants to enjoy himself, to suit himself, and he wants body contacts. So you can as well imagine. If that baby gets to one year when they no to like eight months, nine months when they start crawling, start walking, how you start shouting, oh no. It's really not easy. So um kudos to her mothers out there, kudos to my mom, she really tried. I used to see children and I imagine if I was like this um child, how did my mother survive? <laughs> I used, I used to think myself, if I'm to be like this this child that I'm seeing, how did my mom survive that she have not died till now or she have not run mad because some children don't, i don't know i don't know why children are like that child because maybe it's the, the foundation of the upbringing or something i really don't know some children will frustrate 10 years away from your life i tell you they will frustrate 10 years away from your life it's not it's not easy yeah i think we are going we are going i have just um 44, 45. I have 16 minutes more. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> I want to go to bed and enjoy my bed. But even at that, I was talking to um Living Vlog. 
in what way do you need help or what do you not understand about youtube if i can be of help so if you want us to to chat privately you can also add me up on facebook so we chat so i can help you because you really if you don't know much about youtube you'll find it difficult and sometimes you make good content but you will not have anybody to watch there are some keys you need to know how to tag a video properly you need to know how to to get a good description and you also need to know how to design a very good thumbnail thumbnail is, is and you need to know how to to subtitle your video everybody have been doing um how to cook um uh, nigeria egusi soup you can you can do your own video and it will go viral in in 24 hours the same video of how to cook egusi soup it depends on the kind of title you give the kind of thumbnail you will do your description and the tag if you tag it well you'll be surprised sometimes when i when i check on google especially for that success girl and there's this other video i did but so far so good i think is that success video that that has really it has enough watch time um, i don't know how many watch time it has given me. I, I would even go and check but i know it has enough view three point something view you see because what am I saying? Did, did I just say three point something? Or oh, it it's it's eight point. Um, I think the, the video is close to 10k views. That video should be close to 10k. I think so. The video is close to 10k because I, I checked it today. I was like, really? Hmm. If my videos can blow like this, oh my god. <laughs> I would have I would have um my views 8.5k 8.5k views it's close to 10 10k views when i woke up one morning and i saw one point i said oh huh? the first time in history that my video will ever get over one 1k um 1k view i was so happy i was so excited i quickly called my boo i said hello boo boo did you see that video it has over 1k view he said yes he had seen it before I know, it was going up and going up and going up. Oh, so because I, I when I did the video, I didn't give it a very good tag. Later, when I learned about how to tag videos, I went back and I did it again, give it a very good tag. I even tag the the title. I I know I know that um, the success issue is 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 everywhere. Some people might as well go to Google and tap Ash success. And see what comes out. So, when I when I wrote, I have a video that has five hundred ninety nine views. Wow, that's that's good. It's impressive. Okay, living video. I don't know how to do all that. Is okay. Then I dropped my Facebook contacts um the other time. If you have Facebook, add me up on Facebook, so I can try to help you out. Out. I mean to say. So what I did was okay. Several year old sources is being interviewed by Vanguard. And the punch fine i know vanguard is something people used to check on google for vanguard they have their page on facebook i'm not sure if they have their page on instagram and um vanguard is a newspaper in nigeria okay punch is also a newspaper in nigeria i think punch news too they have their instagram and they have their facebook page so it's widely known by google widely recognized and they actually interviewed the little girl. So when I want to write, when I wrote the title now that I said um seven year old success is being interviewed. The baby, I'm going oh thank you so much, no problem. At least you tried. You tried. I just have a few minutes left. I think eighteen minutes. Thank you. I can survive eighteen minutes. <laughs> I can survive. Thank you so much. So I did the hashtag success. Let me click on it so I can yeah good night darling good night i did the hashtag sources i did the hashtag vanguard and i did the hashtag punch news this is it seven year old sources is being interviewed by vanguard and punch news our response is bomb that is the title of the um of the video but along everything seven year old when it gets to sources i put ash sources 
is being interviewed by I put Ash Vanguard and Ash Punch News and response is born because I know somebody can just go to Google and maybe they want to see latest news from Punch News and they'll put the hashtag Punch News. My video will be displayed among the videos for them to see. And when, when they see it and they, they will they, they might some people might have already known about sources and they'll be like, Oh, so Punch Vanguard really interviewed that they want to hear a response. You can see. I'm sure that's how people start coming, people start coming. Even people that I don't know, they'll drop comments. They are not even my subscribers. I've not seen them before. I don't even know them before. I know that's the work of the of the tag. So we all need to learn how to tag our videos properly because sometimes you might be wondering, I have a good content. Oh, so when I started YouTube, I used to think many things. I say, Abi, I'm, I, I don't have to wear or I don't talk well. Oh, there's a way I need to talk. Oh, there's, there's the way I need to do. Because I see people, they just come up with crazy topic, topic that does not even make sense. They have many views. I say, what's happening? I don't understand. I never knew you have to tag your videos. I never knew you have to do thumbnails. I never knew you have to. Even some of my videos, I haven't done thumbnail. But because of the good tag, people are watching. It's bringing tariff to my, to my video. So, um... I can find our Facebook account. Please send it. Okay. Um, I'll just send it right now. Right now, now, now. Right now, now, now. <sighs> and Beatrice. Joy Johnson. Yeah. I just sent it to you. That's my face. Uh, okay. When I see it, I will know it's you. That's not a problem. I will see it after the live stream. I will accept it so we can talk better. Because you really need to earn, my dear. It's not easy to survive on the street of YouTube. The street of YouTube is even tough than the street of Europe. It's tough than the street of Lagos. I'm telling you. Frustration is real. I tell you. Love we love wave. Thanks for coming to my life. I appreciate you. I I still don't know how to pronounce your name. I don't know why. Thanks for coming in. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up, baby. Give me a thumbs up, baby. Hey, Susan Dumbuya. Thank you. You are still here. Wow. Thank you so much. Okay. Love wave drifting forever. Really? Oh, because of the way you type it. Very simple something that I can. I can't pronounce though. Love waves drifting forever. Thanks for coming. Please give me thumbs up if you are just coming. I have eight more minutes to stay live here. But before I go, love wave, you are just coming. What do you think? Do you think men should um, be entitled to paternity leave? Do you think so? If yes, why do you say yes? If no, why do you say no? To me, I think men deserve paternity leave because... They deserve to show love to their children. They deserve to show love to their wife. They deserve to show love to their family. And they really need to build a bond around their newborn baby. So what do you think? Drop comments. Let's quickly um, know your comment. No, your, your, your... Let's quickly know what you think. Let's know what you think. Oh, thank God I survived. I survived. I have just seven minutes more. I thought I was going to... Guys, I, I, I was thinking of doing something stupid tomorrow. I want to try to do um, a 10 hours live stream challenge. And someone was asking me, are you going to show your face? Or um, you're not going to show your face? I don't know. I was thinking... I don't know if it can actually work because I just remembered now. I just remembered now that my phone um, immediately is the, the, the battery starts dropping and I'm on YouTube. If I plug it, it will never charge. It will not charge unless I go off YouTube. I just go off YouTube. You know, sometimes when the network... Oh, let me see. Yes, I think you just said it all. You just said it all. Exactly. That's how it's supposed to be. They need to have bonds. 
with the, with you no know, that father and child relationship. Me, I'm feeling sleepy, but I'm gonna give it all to you. Oh, thank you. Come on, hug me. Break my screen, break it. Don't worry, I'll buy another one. Come on, hug me now. Hug me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Susan, you are laughing too. That's just the truth. You know, some people are just so special. So I can afford to. She should just come out of the screen and hug me. No problem. I'm, I will not vest this time around. <laughs> I have just five minutes to go. Five minutes to go. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. In short, people are so wonderful to me. I appreciate people coming to my live stream because especially people that stay for a longer time. I know it is not easy. It is never easy. It's hard for me. The only the only way I have to stay in people's life because I have two phones. If I go to their life and I tell them I'm watching but I want to watch with my um, other um, account so they know it's me because I love my phone so much. I have like I press my phone and it's not my fault because I have to go on Instagram. I have to check for latest news to see something to talk about. I have to check on Facebook. I have to, to check on... I'm subscribed to... I'm subscribed to... Um, to one within Nigeria on Google. So any news within Nigeria or any latest news, they will just bring the... I know I would have had many notifications now. So I pick the ones I want to talk about. I read about them. Sometimes I do the screenshot. So I ah like so I my phone to, to now sit down and watch this day is very hard. But when I was at home, it's easy. We have many devices. The tablet is there. The television is there. I can also be watching with the television. I'm doing my things. But I might not be able to comment. But now it's so hard. Four minutes to go. Oh thank God, I made it. <laughs> I made it. So that's just it. If you say I'm funny, what about those comedians? What will you call them? I mean, I'm not funny. I'm not. I'm just myself. I'm not funny. Oh, thank you. Someone just gave me thumbs up. I'm 20. I'm even tired of talking to me myself. I know. I talk too much. I talk too much. What app do you use for your screenshot, please? Oh, there's no app in doing screenshots. You need to know your phone and know how to do the screenshot. For this phone, if I want to do screenshots, I have to press the power button and this um, volume vo button. I press to reduce the volume. You press at once. Bam. You do the screenshot. That's how to do screenshot for this one. I think for this new phone too, it's the same thing. So if you don't know how to do screenshots, it's very simple. Just go to Google. Type the type of your phone and say... Um, how do I do screenshots for Samsung Galaxy S9? Or how do I do screenshot for uh, Techno HY, Techno D7, Techno F9? Anyone, if it's like F9, if it's like let it be D7 or D8, just check. So Google will tell you how to do the screenshots. Some probably the some the button right here. Maybe you have to, to touch on it, it to screenshot. It depends on the phone. So that's how I do because sometimes I have to do screenshots. So I, I if you see the screenshot on my phone is even more than the normal normal um normal photos because I don't have time. I'm working. Ah, oh, you are welcome. It's nothing. Because even me, when I wanted, you see, when you don't know something, somebody you just be like a foolish person. When I, I bought when I was using this phone, I don't know how to do screenshots. I was thinking, how will I do screenshot? How will I do screenshots? This phone is different from my other phone. I don't even know. And even with that phone, I think I wasn't doing um YouTube then. So I was like, I what do I need screenshot for? Oh sleepy. Sleep is calling me. My bed is calling me. When I started using this phone and I was doing YouTube. I, I was not asking somebody, please teach me how to do screenshots. I don't know how to, because me, 
I know the shame for it. I don't know. I said I don't know how to do screenshots. He now asks me. He does not know how to do it too. <laughs> instead of Vito, instead of him to tell me I don't know how to do it, he asks me. He say, eh, "What is the model of your phone?" I say, "V Mobile." He now went out. In my presence, he type on Google how to do. But he was holding the phone like this. Me, he not trust me. I was stretching my neck. I want to see. I want to see. I stretch my neck and stretch my neck. I saw that it was Gogu that told him. You know, I did not say anything. No, you now type on Gogu how to do screen. <laughs> how to do screenshot. He was not talking to me like the boss. Okay, me, I'm the apprentice, he's the boss because Gogu have given him expo. Hmm. Since that time, I say, eh, if I ever, before, I, if I need something, apart from when I go to people's live stream. And they're talking about something, and I, I need to, to ask. I know I can ask them. I will ask. If not, Gogu is there. Oh, why will you just be there and be looking? Ask Gogu. Gogu will tell you anything. Ask Gogu how to sleep. Gogu will tell you. Ask Gogu how to wake up. Gogu self will tell you. If you ask Gogu how to drink water, Gogu will tell you. Feel free. Gogu is your friend. The police are not your friend, though, but Gogu is your friend. <laughs> if he is laughing, is it not true? Police are not your friend, but Gogu is your friend. Gogu will tell you all the secrets. You don't need to stress. No stress, eh? No stress. Ne? No stress. Enjoy yourself. Gogu is. <laughs> Even me myself, my talk is making me to laugh. This is serious. <laughs> I think I am two hours one minute. I need to go. <laughs> before I bust, before my stomach will bust, my laugh is making me to laugh. And it's only it's only when I'm on YouTube that I used to laugh like this. Immediately I press this exist button. I will come back to to another joy. I'll just be like, ah, nothing to I'll be alone. Nobody to ah oh my god. Can you people please come to my house? If you let me give you my address. I think I have five people here. Come to my house and come and be staying with me. Oh I am lonely. Only when I'm on YouTube, I'm laughing and playing. You want to come? Don't feel stress. Break the screen. Just enter and come. I will draw you from here. Don't worry. If you break, I'll buy. I'll buy the phone. I'm waiting. Who want to come? Somebody should come now. Do you people hate me this much? You don't want to come. <laughs> okay, if you don't want to come, I want to go. I want to go and we'll talk tomorrow. Good night, sweet. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Your laugh is making my life to laugh. You want to come? Susan, no, you come. Let me... No, Susan, you are... You... I think you are fat now. It's not the old Susan that I know. You are fat now. If you come now, I can't draw you alone. I need brights to be here, so we'll draw you together. <laughs> okay, no problem. As for me, I have to go. I appreciate every single person for coming to my life. I pray I'm able to... Um... Susan is laughing. It's truth now. Am I lying? Hmm. Is it not truth? It's truth. So like, don't disturb me, Susan. Nobody should, should laugh again. Eh? I want to thank people. I thank everybody for coming to my life. I thank every single person for coming. I thank everybody for contributing. In case you are watching a replay and you just decided to forward to the end to hear the last words or the last thing I'm going to talk about, um, drop a comment. Let us know what you think about men having paternity leave, if it is good or not, and your reasons and... um. Don't forget to give this, it's going to be a video by then, not a live stream. <laughs> Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. Till we meet again. Stay tuned. Ciao.